the, the name of the course is Embracing Change, Leading in Turbulent Times. Um, and the vision of the course is for anybody and everybody who has to deal with change, which is everybody, who are managing your team, leading your teams in difficult times, whether it be in the private sector or the public sector, you're all having to deal with change. And how do you keep people motivated? How do you come up with new strategies to, to navigate those turbulent waters of change? And then how do you get people to embrace the need for change? Keep people motivated, keep people excited to want to stay there to make it happen. How do you overcome obstacles to strategic change? So we'll begin to focus on all those different issues that leadership at every level of, the, of every organization has to deal with. The flow of this program is going to be a mixture of lecture, interactive group exercises, breakouts into small rooms, small teams to focus on issues and challenges that you are facing in this program. We will give you frameworks and, and ways of looking at problems and tools, but then you will go apply them to your problems and your issues. So it'll be a combination of uh, lecture, interactive, uh, multimedia group, small group exercises. Uh, it will be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of work. It'll keep you engaged over three days. In this program, day one will be all about focusing on getting people to embrace change. And part of that will be, at the end of the first day, is identifying what sort of strategic changes you'll need to make. And the next two days, we'll really be talking about how do you get people to embrace it, stay motivated, stay at the organization, continue to trust the direction the organization is going on. And more importantly, how do you keep thriving at work? One of the key aspects, uh, Professor Christine Porath, who will be focusing on these issues, is how do you stay thriving when everything seems to be cascading on you, keeping your team motivated and keeping yourself motivated? And at the end, how do you celebrate the success of managing change successfully? This program is geared for at really at any level, but clearly if you're leading or managing teams, that's where you that's our first entree. So you could be at a middle level, you could be a more senior level, but anytime you're leading teams through change in the challenging times, that's what we're looking for. People are leading people, managing people. People can go to a variety of different places to take executive education, but Georgetown is unique. Georgetown is unique for a variety of reasons, and one of the reasons that I'm here at Georgetown. One is we're in our third century. Uh, we're over 200 years old and a long history. Georgetown University was founded by John Carroll as an academy to develop leaders for the new country. For the last 220 plus years, we've continued in that tradition to develop leaders, not just for this country, but in global business, in different countries. So it's all about leadership, which is unique. And we have a unique set of individuals who can really focus in on that. Why also at Georgetown? We have some of the best faculty in the world here. We will have faculty from Asadi teaching, from Spain. We will have faculty here who are the best at Georgetown, the best in the country at teaching on issues of managing change and communicating effectively. But also when you come to Georgetown, what you come to realize one of the Jesuit values, because we are a Jesuit university, is cura personalis. It's taking care of the whole person. So when you come in, it's not just can we give you something that will make you more effective. We're trying to understand where you are. So when we focus on thriving at work, that's about your emotional energy state. Then we want to understand how you can become more effective in managing people through. So we think about you as, as a person. And what you're also going to find is the faculty, including myself, will be around all the time. So there's opportunities, not just in the classroom time, but outside of classroom at lunch, that we'll sit and we'll talk about your problems. So I think we give that personalized attention. Uh, for me, I like to say it's like a concierge field because we care about the students that walk through those doors to come into McDonough School of Business.